So for the first example, we looked at something where we could easily find the volume with geometry. Here we're looking at a somewhat more exotic shape. The base is defined by the function f of x equals square root of x, and the cross sections are equilateral triangles. It may help to remember that the area of an equilateral triangle is s squared root 3 over 4, and that's a formula you can de derive very easily from geometry. And so what we would like is the volume of this. And I've drawn here a rough sketch of what this thing will look like. We'll have an equilateral triangle at the end. One edge will be a straight line. That would correspond to where the x-axis is. And then it will have a curving edge here and then a curving edge around the back. And across, when we draw, cut it across and get a cross section, we'll get a perfect equilateral triangle. And so that's a rough idea of what the shape looks like. And so notice that this height right here, f of x, is providing the side of the triangle. And so that we could say that that area, the area, equals that f of x squared times root 3 over 4. And that f of x is just square root of x. So square root of x squared is just x. So x root 3 over 4 is the a of x. Well, now we're ready to integrate. Volume is the integral from 0 to 9. Because, of course, this point right here is 9. 0 to 9 of a of x, which is x root 3 over 4 dx. Well, we'll take the root 3 over 4 out in front. And the antiderivative of x is just x squared over 2, if I weight it at 0 and 9. And so what we get is root 3 over 4, 81 over 2, minus 0. And multiplying out, we get 81 root 3 over 8. And this expression here is the volume of this exotic shape.